Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss a brief note on airborne diseases. How human gets infected with airborne diseases. Airborne diseases or illnesses spread by microorganisms in the air. In most cases, airborne diseases are contracted when someone breathes in infected air. That means when someone is going to inhale the infected air, they are going to contract the airborne diseases. How air gets infected? When people with certain infections like cough, sneeze, or talk, spewing nasal and throat secretions into the air, then we can think of the air get infected. Coming to the types of airborne diseases, many diseases spread through air like COVID-19 and coronavirus, influenza and the common cold, then chicken pox, which is also called as varicella juster, then TB, that is tuberculosis, then measles, mumps, and whooping cough or pertussis. Along with this, there are certain uncommon airborne diseases like anthrax, diphtheria, and meningitis. Coming to the symptoms, airborne diseases usually result in one or more of the following symptoms. Inflammation of nose, throat, sinus, or lungs leading to cough, that is coughing, then sneezing, then congestion. What is meant by congestion? Feeling of the blocked nose, then coming to the running nose, then sore throat, swollen glands, so here you can see the swelling of the glands, that is swollen glands, headache, then body ache, that is body pains, then loss of appetite, not feeling hungry, then fever and fatigue. These complications from airborne diseases are more likely to affect the very young and the very old and the people with immunocompromised system or compromised immune system. Whereas the rest of the people that is of uh, adults are not going to have that much effect when compared to the very young one and the very old. Then moving to the treatment, the symptoms of the common cold can be treated but the illness tends to go away without any treatment. So treatment for less airborne diseases, that is less serious airborne diseases include more rest and more intake of fluids. Then moving to the prevention. How can we prevent airborne diseases? Complete prevention is difficult, but there are some ways to reduce exposure to the pathogens that cause them. They are simple measures such as staying home when we are sick, reducing contact with the infected people or people who are sick, then hygienic and sanitary habits then good ventilation that means good ventilation is going to swap indoor and outdoor air by opening a window or by using fans to help the exchange of dirty air along with this intake of nutritious food and richer with vitamin c vitamin b and vitamin d so this is all about the humans and airborne diseases a brief note thank you